Welcome back to part two of our Italy adventure. We are now on the train heading towards Venice. The train ride was about four hours. The train was great, really comfy. We had a window seat with a table in between us. I popped off to find the bar and picked up a bottle of wine. It's about half a bottle, I guess it was, and it was nine pounds, not too bad. We really enjoyed the chill out with the beautiful scenery and it was a good rest for our legs after our 30,000 steps yesterday in Rome. On arrival, there was some sort of procession or protest going on outside the train station, but we'd seen our hotel was only a 15 to 20 minute walk. So we decided to walk. We overtook this protest and found our hotel just straight down the end of this road. We've just arrived in our hotel in Venice. We're in the LH Hotel Sirio, I think. Um, nice modern room, We've got a full length mirror there, TV, bed all nicely made up until we started to trash it and clean towels got your little desk a nice window that you can open it feels really warm in here You've got your space to put your cases away and a wardrobe with a safe i'm not sure what this is hmm. plenty of storage there is a mini fridge so you can put some drinks in there if needed spare duvets Oh, we've each got a bedside cabinet and a plug, which I didn't have a bedside cabinet or a plug in our last hotel. In the bathroom here, nice modern bathroom. We've got the rainforest shower and the body shower. We've got some nice, I've just used this hand wash and it smells lovely, nice toiletries, little hand cream, and we've got your shower cap. And is this, yeah, another shower cap. Yeah, so all nice and clean, hair dryer as well. Bathroom mirror. Yes, yeah, nice. We're now heading for the bus stop. We are equipped with some tickets that we just purchased from the hotel. They were three euros each, cash only, don't forget. It is one return journey, and apparently we've got to get off at the last stop, so we'll see. This is our hotel, just behind LH, that's not the sign, Sirio. Anyway, we we get on the bus and go and see what Venice is about? Just got off the bus. It was like a 20 minute journey from our hotel. Um, just mooching around, not quite sure where we are, but we'll have a look. Here we are. <laughs> Organised as usual. We've got our ticket. We think we're at the right stop to get a bus, a boat, water bus. It should be here any minute. It's gondolas, so exciting. I feel like even though I thought I was organized for this trip, I have no idea what I'm doing and it's all been a little bit stressful. We know now, I think. But, oh, we make it in our own fumbled way. Yeah. I don't know who these people are that are really organized and know everything. Cause I do Google and look before we come and it's still confusing. Anyway, let's go get a drink. off the Vaporetto at St Mark's Square and went for a little wander around there which again is absolutely stunning. We wandered down a back street and came to this cute little cafe which doesn't have a name. We just wanted a quick snack and we had an arancino with ham and cheese and a cannoli cream horn thing. These were both really tasty little snacks, just a great little something to fill you up until dinner time. The cafe was so cute, it was so tight and tiny, just literally room for some little tables along the side. We then wandered some more streets, looked around the shops, there's lots of glass shops in Venice, little bridges everywhere with gondolas parked up. There's also a lot of mask shops and you'll see lots of lovely food shops. There is something different to see around every corner. We then found ourselves back in St Mark's Square and took a seat outside the beautiful Florian Cafe where they have a live orchestra. 
You will pay six euros each music charge and the drinks are a little bit pricey, but you do get these lovely little snacks with your drink and it is a beautiful place to sit and take in the view whilst listening to this lovely music. Rome is absolutely for wandering the streets. Every street you walk down, there is a different little bridge, little canal. You've got gondolas, cute little bars like this where we stopped for a spritz. It's a beautiful city to wander. We stopped off at Da Giorgio for some dinner. We shared a pizza, which was very nice and also this seafood platter which was just lush this is right up my street another apparel spritz because it's all about the spritzes here before we got the vaporetto back towards um where we got on i'm not sure what that's actually called there was some kind of torch lit running event going on so that was quite interesting to stand and watch for a little while before we got on our number two bus and headed back to the hotel successful trip the next morning, breakfast in our hotel, it had a nice, clean, bright, airy dining room and there was a selection of cakes, croissants, scrambled eggs, bacon, all the usuals. It was a really, really nice breakfast, actually. Had a little fill up before we wandered out, ready to get the bus back into Venice as we are going to Murano and Burano today. Good morning. We've just arrived in Venice. So, little thing that everyone else probably knows, but I didn't, we didn't. So when we got off the bus in the car park there yesterday, what we didn't actually realise is we were in Venice. So I was convinced that when we got to here, the drop-off point, that we had to go and get a Vaporato water taxi bus ticket to get over onto the main island. However, that is not the case. We just drove here and here we are. Um, so, if you don't want to get a bus ticket for the water taxi bus, you don't need one because the bus takes you straight on to Venice, which is where we are. But I think they are needed. I would 100%. We used the Vaporato last night. It took us straight round to St. Mark's Square and we got it back here, which saved, well... A, a long time. Otherwise, you're going to be looking for bridges all the while. Right? It's costly. Again, Venice is a lot bigger than you would think, isn't it? Yeah. Lot bigger than you'd think so yeah i think that'll come in really useful and we are now going to get on a water bus to murano and burano islands this morning in the fog it's really foggy so we're hoping that's going to clear because the islands look beautiful and i was hoping to get some lovely bright colorful photos but we will see The journey on the Vaporetto over to Murano took around 20 minutes. It was pretty nippy on there in this morning um, because it was quite early and it was quite misty. So I'm glad that I had a jacket and Mark had a hoodie on. It was a really nice ride aside from that, although it was very busy. Just walking around Murano, and I've just been informed by a lady in a lovely shop that because it's Sunday, they don't do the glass blowing demonstrations. Most of the factories are shut, so we're a bit gutted because I really wanted to see some glass blowing. But we'll just have a little mooch around, and then we're going to get the Vaporetto over to Burano for a little walk around. Maybe we'll find somewhere to have a drink. Looks like there's some nice outdoor bars along the river. So many gorgeous shops to look in the windows and pop in and out of here. They are all Murano glass, beautiful jewellery pieces and pieces for your house. I mean, if there was a way of getting them home, I would have bought loads.
just stopped off for a little coffee in this lovely square. We are now heading down to near this lighthouse that you'll see around the corner to get the Vaporetto over to Burano. Look at that beautiful chandelier. We walked all the way back to where we got off the Vaporetto um, to get on one to go to Burano, but you don't get it there. You have to come to the other side of the island, so. So we're here waiting for the boat, so it's line 12. We got a seat on this boat, so it was a much more pleasant journey and the sun is coming out, which is amazing. I loved the boat rides around the different islands and stuff, and it took probably another 20 minutes, half an hour to get to beautiful Burano. This place was my favorite. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Loved all of the colorful houses. It was just so cute. Just arrived in Burano. This place is absolutely stunning. Got all these gorgeous coloured houses. We're going to go and find somewhere to have a nice drink. I think it's about one o'clock now. The sun's come out, so it's feeling much nicer than it was this morning. We're looking forward to chilling out and just enjoying a day, mooching around here. Have a little explore. We had a little mooch around and we ended up walking around the outskirts along the water side and we came across this really cute little bar which was overlooking the water, really quiet spot. The drinks were very reasonable. It was five euro for a spritz or a lager and we had some food here also, just little snacky bits which were really tasty. I think we sat here for probably a good couple of hours, hour and a half. It was just a stunning place to sit really nice and peaceful and the food was really tasty too so I'd highly recommend looking for it if you are on the island. We then made our way to sort of the central plaza or square of Burano. This was a lot more busy and bustling, loads more bars and restaurants so there are plenty of places to eat and drink. There's some really nice gift shops selling sort of lace and linens and lots of unique things that you can pick up here. It's just a beautiful place to spend the day. We very much enjoyed being here and it was very much more relaxed than the other days where we've walked miles and miles. It was nice just to have a day chilling out in the sun. Around these places, apart from the tourists, it's so beautiful and it's amazing to think that people actually just get to live here and wake up and look at this place every single day of the year it must be amazing We came across this little hatch and it was so busy and bustling. They were doing all these mixed seafood platters and we had to have one. This was absolutely gorgeous and that was a bread edible plate. Highly recommend try, uh, trying here if you are on the island and it's right next to the Vaporetto stop. So we ate and then got ourselves back on the boat and headed home. It was around an hour direct back to Venice from here. Back in Venice, we wandered the streets some more, stopped off for another glass of chilled white wine, which was just divine. I mean, this is our vibe. We just wandered, explored, stopped for food, stopped for drink. It was just perfect. Loved watching the gondolas going up and down the canal. We grabbed a gelato. This was the tastiest one so far. I had black cherry and pistachio. I believe Mark had mint chocolate chip again. He had something else with it. I can't remember what that was but these were so tasty. We then wandered through the center of Venice and found our way to the Rialto Bridge. Again, the busier, more touristy attractions are busier, but it was fine. We crossed over the bridge and found this perfect spot on the Grand Canal to sit and have a little drink. We also got some little appetizers, which we didn't really need because we were quite full after our ice cream and this was our pre-dinner drink, but they were super tasty too. made a reservation prior to traveling as I'd seen this restaurant recommended. It's called Al Grill and is a steakhouse. 
The decor was fab. Service was really amazing and it was a really, really nice dinner. We had the tomahawk steak, which I believe was priced by the 100 grams and we had the one kilo steak. We enjoyed this with a bottle of red, their mixed roast vegetables and potato wedges. I thought it was absolutely delicious. The steak had a little bit too much chew for Mark, who does like his steak like butter, but it was so tasty. Highly recommend. Then wandered through, through beautiful Venice as it began to get dark. It is stunning when the lights come on before getting the Vaporetto and heading home. My battery's really low on my phone, but we've just been for a really nice steak dinner at Owl Grill. It was lush. We've been standing at the wrong bus stop because we wanted to go that way, but we need to go that way. So we're now on the bus. It is beautiful this time of night on the Grand Canal. Lovely, the lights, it's lush. So we're going to go home, get an early night, and then come and chill and reach around again tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed our little trip to Murano and Burano and a little mooch around Venice. I will be uploading the final part of this holiday vlog very soon. If you haven't already, please do consider liking and subscribing.